Hey guys, that's a very quick unboxing and review of the AirThings Digital Radon Detector. This is uh, passive diff diffusion radon sampling, alpha spectrometry, radon detector. The thing is, um, there are schematics out there how to build this uh, based off Arduino. Arduino uh, chipset but right now for the price that this is on sale at Home Depot for the price for this it would, it's definitely less than what it would cost you to build alpha spectrometry pass passive diffusion chamber detector so let's take it out comes in a nice clamshell packaging right there this is the detector itself comes with manual comes with a nice manual that pretty much explains the details how to how to switch between different measurement modes what is the accuracy hmm. nordish swedish swami language french english two versions of english which is interesting on this manual so the weight, let me just zoom that in, as you see the weight is uh, 0 0.3 pounds including the batteries, 130 grams, measurement range is, the measurement range is between 0 to 500 picocuries per liter or that translates roughly between 0 and uh, 10,000 becquerels per square per uh, cubic meter. Accuracy and precision is for 7 days is 10%, 2 months it gets to 5%. Uses 3 AAA alkaline batteries. Battery life is 2 year. This does not, does not use a lot of a lot of power so that's that's why it is much easier to it is much easier to just leave that follow the guidelines work to install that it has to be 1.5 feet above ground and at least 5 feet away from ventilation area being window door air vents, stuff like that. Made in Tunisia. Hmm. Designed in Norway, made in Tunisia. Alright. So there are two modes of this. There are two modes of this. Uh, once you turn it off, um, it measures it measures short term average for 7 days after that it switches to 24 actually it, it does measure 24 hour averages and after that it uh, after 7 days it switches to long term average switching from 7 day average every 6 seconds to 24 24 hour so basically it shows you two averages one is the short term average and the long term average the long term shows uh, how much is your long-term exposure meaning on a short term you may have the windows open more often or you may have uh, something else uh, that's affecting it and that is your your exposure the short term is uh, exactly what it is it's uh, just the short-term exposure over over continuous period of seven days the the changes uh, in radon rel in radon levels are um, seasonal, I would say. Seasonal meaning they're more in rainy periods, less less in in dry in dry periods. 
uh, there is a way to connect this to a computer and to a website, produce your own Radon sampling report. Uh, it is it is a unique a unique sensor to have. This is something that's needed on the market and this is the first time that somebody outputs that. Very well designed, very well built. It's based off uh, based off a very good and very precise principle of radon sampling. As long as you are following the instructions for installation and you're protecting that, protecting that uh, that sensor um, by not exposing it to over 85% humidity, you will always get accurate readings. Definitely need that. Thanks for watching.